In this video, I'll show you how to make a video game in Scratch where you have to catch a sneaky moving ball. Hey, I'm Benji, and today I'm going to show you how to make your first video game. We're going to be using Scratch to make our game. If you don't know what Scratch is, you might be able to get through, but in case you have any problems, you might want to check out my video on how to use Scratch. Here's what our game looks like. We want to try to hit a ball, and if we do, we get a point and the ball moves faster. But if we miss, we lose the game. Let's get started. As usual, head over to scratch.mit.edu and click Create. Now, we don't want to use this cat as our character. Instead, we want a ball. So click on the garbage can on the cat and press this blue button to add a new spray. I'm going to click on the ball. Now let's have the ball move. First, Let's drag out the when green flag click block in events, and then the forever block in control. Then, in motion, put the move 10 steps block, and then the if on edge bounce block inside the forever loop. Now, when we click the green flag, the ball bounces. Let's have the ball start at a random position and angle. Drag the go to random position block before the forever block. Now, we need the ball to point in a random direction. There is no specific block to do this, but we can combine blocks instead. Drag the point and direction block right above the forever loop. Then, go to operators and drag the pick random 1 through 10 right here. Change the 1 to 0 and the 10 to 359. Now, when we click the green flag, the ball starts in a random position and points in a random direction. Now, when we click the ball, we should have the ball reset and score a point. Go to events and drag out the when this sprite clicked block. Now disattach these blocks, right click here, select duplicate, and place these blocks here. When we duplicate blocks, we also duplicate any blocks below it. So that's why we disattach these blocks. You can now finally reattach them. Finally, go to sounds and drag out the start sound pop block. Now, when we click on the ball, the ball restarts and makes a sound. We've got the main game going, however, there's no way to lose. To do this, go to the backdrop, and in events, drag out the when stage clicked block, and in control, drag out stop all. Now, when we click the green flag and we miss the ball, the game stops. Let's now add scoring. To do this, we have to use variables. Now variables might sound something like algebra, but it's actually a lot simpler. Think of it like a box. At the start, you can add something to the box. When you add that stuff, you can actually read what's inside the box or even change it. So, to add a variable, go to Variables and click on Make a Variable. Type in Score and press OK. Now, click the ball and drag out a set variable to zero at the start of the script and change the variable name to Score. Once we do this, drag out a Change Variable by one here and select score again. Now, when we click on the green flag, we can hit the ball to gain points, but if we miss, we have to start over. Great! Let's add a couple features to our game. Let's have the game speed increase as we go along. In operators, drag out a plus block here, type in three, and then drag out a score from variables here. Now we have the ball speed increase as the score goes up. Finally, let's change the backdrop of our game. Click this blue button and select the backdrop you want to use. Yay! We finally made a full working game. Play and see how far you can get. Thanks for watching this video. If you like learning how to make your own projects and video games in Scratch, hit the subscribe button. I also hope that you will also learn how to make your own projects too. Look out for my next video. Be there or be MC squared. See ya.